Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a brand new Max for Live device called Push Mute. This device was designed by myself and Darren at Isotonic Studios, and it brings a straightforward pad muting workflow to the Push and Push 3 standalone. It's similar to the workflow that you would find on the Electron Analog Rhythm drum machine. Basically, it enables you to mute single pads and groups of pads all at the touch of a button. In this video, I'll show you how it all works, how you can get set up, and how you can use it in live sets or in the studio. Let's get to it. If you're using this in live with a push controller, what you would need to do is you would need to put it at the start of the chain. You'll notice here the controls are very minimal on the actual device itself, and that's because we control all the parameters directly from the push. If you're using this in push three standalone, exactly the same principle, you need to load it at the start of the chain for it to be able to work. Once loaded, there's two ways we can activate push mute. We can activate it with a momentary control or a latch control. We turn it on by simply holding down shift on the push. When it's in momentary, it'll be enabled whilst you've got your finger held down. And as soon as you take it off, it turns off. If you go up here and switch it to latch, as soon as you press down shift, it will be in push mute. And then when you press it down again, it will turn off. And now push mute pads are live. When the push mute pads are all green, that means the pads will be playing. Let me demo that. Sounds like drums. Now, if I tap on some of these, they will go gray and they will not sound. They have been muted. To enable them back in, just simply tap on the pads. And that's it, pretty straightforward, right? Now there's a little trick hiding up push mute sleeve. And that is that it has the ability to mute multiple pads at the tap of one button. Check this out. So if it's playing through and I hold down select, tap the pads I wish to mute. Say for instance, I want to mute these three pads. They turn blue. What that basically means is they've been queued up to be muted. And as soon as I take my finger off select, they go gray which means they've been muted. To activate those pads again or unmute them, simply hold down, select again, tap the pads you wish to unmute, and then take your finger off, come back in. Let's try that out. Now here's where push mute gets even more useful for live sets. You can also save mute groups. And that essentially takes a snapshot of whatever pads you have muted in push mute. For example, here, if I mute a few pads like this, and I hold down select and tap a pad in the macro section here, it will turn orange. And that means that set of mutes has now been saved to that one macro. Now I can turn these all back on, hold down, select, tap this pad to take a snapshot of all the pads being on. So I can go like that, like that. Check this out. So cool. Now what's really fun with that is these macros are not just assigned to whatever pads are in this four by four grid here. If you look in live, you can see it in a bit more detail. You have all these pads available here. Mute groups can be assigned to every single one of these pads here, which really does open up a lot of possibilities for performing live with push mute. And that's it. You can grab a copy of push mute with the link in the description below. A big shout out to Darren from Isotonic Studios for making this all possible. If you have any questions, or you'd like to see more devices like this, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.